wrestling rage. Cody Fleming is the man who leads the brigade. Who's going down? This is wrestling rage. We're doing now. This is wrestling rage. Scream it out loud. This is wrestling rage. Cody Fleming is the man who leads the brigade. Do it now. This is wrestling rage. Scream it out loud. This is wrestling rage. Cody Fleming is the man who leads the brigade. Hello, this is Cody from Wrestling Rage, and I'm joined by Karam today from the Death Threat Army. Uh, thanks so much for coming on the show today, Karam. Thanks for having me, man. Awesome, awesome. So, you know, obviously, you know, we I already said it, you're a member of the Death Threat Army, and I, you know, I've had Jack Price on here, and, you know, yep. Weaponized is a regular on Wrestling Rage. Um, yep. I would just, what's it like for you being involved with all those guys? Because I know it's like a brotherhood, and everybody watches out for uh, each other. So what's that, what's that mean to you, and what's it like? Um... Yeah, I think you got it right there. It's like a brotherhood, and uh, we're all really close. We're not just like a group that just hangs out at wrestling events. We hang out all the time, and all those guys, you know, help me get where I am or where I'm going. You know, uh, I'm I'm probably the most green in the group, so it's just I'm always learning, watching them, asking them advice. So it's it's really cool, you know, to look up to them and be their friends and whatnot. Right. So, uh, you. You just got back in the ring recently, right? You were out yeah. for a while. Uh, so it was it was it your knee? Yeah, it was my patella tendon. I had a lot of complications with the surgeries and stuff, but it's all good now. You know, I'm healthier and uh, better than ever. Right, which that's which is awesome. And you know, now now that you're back in the ring, I've I've seen I've seen you more now than I've ever seen you before. You're all over the place yeah. right now. So you you got some a lot of bookings coming your way right now. Yeah, is that, is yeah. that right? Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm i very thankful to have the opportunities given to me. Uh, I surrounded myself with good people, and, you know, luckily people are willing to give me a shot and see what I can do, and when I showcase that, you know, they like what they see. So I'm really happy that uh, everything's going the way it is. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, so are you training in Windsor over there, or where are you training uh, nowadays? So uh, I mostly train with uh, Aaron or Ryan and uh, Jake something. I go on the road with Jake a lot. Um, and whenever I can, um, I go to Can Am. Uh, okay. Right now, the schedule hasn't been, you know, there yet. But I'm I'm looking to go there more often, and I right. probably should. Right. Well, I mean, that's we're all in that situation sometimes, and everything that we do, right? Right. Um, right. But you know, speaking of that, it's just like uh, Aaron, and Jake. You know, they really took me under their wing, and what they do is, uh, I believe, just as great. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm not saying that Aaron's an amazing guy. Uh, I really wish I could get him on the show. It, it's just a matter of, you know, it's just like, like you right now, you're in your car. It, it's just yeah. having time, you know, I get yeah, it. I understand. Yeah. It's, no, I really wanted to be here. So right. I, I tried to find the time. That's awesome. Now, so do you like this lifestyle as a wrestler? You know, cause it's, it's obviously a busy lifestyle because you got work, you got shoot life, you got, you know, you got, you know, bookings on the weekends. You're all over the place. Do you ever find time to just, like, be you? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say it is me. Um, like, yes and no. I mean, I love it. You got to love it to do it because it is so taxing and draining. And everyone knows you don't make a lot of money at the start. So right. you, sacrifice, you sacrifice a lot to do it. But I do think, like, at the end of the day, it will be worth it. Um, and you know, I, I can't complain, man. I'm traveling, I'm doing what I love to do. And even if it's the minimal amount of money or whatever it is, it's, you know, the opportunities and people saying, I'm doing my dream. I'm, right. you know, I'm living my dream. So, yeah, so I really amazing. can't complain. And there's bad things in everything, but, um, right. you know, I, I really can't say that, you know, I'm happy. This is me. So. Right. That's awesome. That's good. Uh, you know, now talk about that. You know, you're all over the place where's somewhere that you really want to go and work as far as you know wrestling goes um super kicks super all kick? my uh all my uh boys are there and uh you know maybe you know maybe it comes sooner rather than later but i hope so but that's only a place i want to debut at i never wrestled in canada yet oh so, really uh, yeah so i really want to break in there and uh, show them what i can do and going there is probably just going to be a learning experience and a world of its own no, oh, most definitely. That's awesome. Uh, you know, and I, a lot of guys that I've talked to, they 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 really want to wrestle in Canada. So that's really yeah. says that says something about wrestling in Canada too. You know. Well, yeah, they got they got good guys there, man. You know, you see people like uh, Tarek. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Yep. Uh, yeah, he's just sweet. 
Ring. I love to be in the ring with him. Jody Threat, who's in our yep. group too. Yep. You know, she's there. You know, I want to have a match with her too. That'd be sweet. <laughs> That would no, be good be because awesome. she's she's pretty buff, dude. And uh, my ass. yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that would yeah. be amazing. Uh, yeah, I would. Love, yeah, I'm calling her out right now. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You heard it hey, first here. Jody, if you're listening, I'm calling you. I'll go whoop your ass. There you go. Hey, oh, oh man, that's gonna be a good one. I pay good money to see that one. Uh, you know, well, I mean, that brings up an interesting topic: intergender wrestling, right? Uh, you know, I had. Um, I had a, a pretty popular woman, uh, women's wrestler on the show not too long ago, and I asked her the question about intergender wrestling and like what. Obviously, you're a, a supporter of it because you're talking about you want to whoop on Jody a little bit. Yeah, no, I am, man, and uh, I, I feel like it's. I, I don't think it hurts the business or whatever people say it does. It, it's an art, and uh, honestly. Uh, I think it, if you do it correctly, it's really fun and really enjoyable, and of course it can make sense, you know. Right. Um, hell, I, I like I said, I think Jody can shoot hurt me. So. Right. Yeah, and that's you know, that's. I, it makes sense. I don't, right. I don't oh, see yeah. anything wrong with it. Right. Well, and the same thing goes for like Heidi Katrina, you know. Yeah. Oh girl? yeah, I met her. I met her yesterday, dude. Yeah. She's huge. Yeah, dude. <laughs> she's she's pretty buff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it would be cool. I yeah. Think I think everything's cool. I think when wrestling evolves, we evolve, and you know times change. And I think that's it's time to uh, step it up like that in that right. direction. All right. So you know, let's back it up a little bit. Talk about you had your knee surgery and everything. You had some complications. You yeah. know, obviously, there. You know, in just life in general, even outside of wrestling, but that's that's something you would call a struggle. I mean, and. You know, how do you get through something like that mentally, you know, to keep you going positive, to keep you going? You know what I mean? Man, I'm not going to lie, man. You know, the first, because I, I had a few. So, like, the first few, you know, you try to tough it out. And after that, but, like, uh, when I got infected and I had to be in the hospital for quite some time and I couldn't lift for, like, over a month and everything like that, that's when things got really, like, you know, like the worst state that I've been. Right. You know, I couldn't even work outside of wrestling. I was just, you know, I had to move back home. I like struggled a lot. So it's just honestly believing in myself that I could become something in wrestling is what made me keep going. You know, it's just right. having full belief in myself that I have potential here right. and I can't just throw that away. I don't want to live an ordinary lifestyle. Right. This is what I'm meant to do. So nothing is going to get in my way. So yeah, if you want to give me 20 surgeries back to back, just know I'm going to be back in the ring because right. I don't quit. That's awesome. And yeah. I obviously being surrounded like guys like Aaron Orion and Jack Price right. and weaponized. And they were super supportive too. There was never one time where they were like, you know, man, maybe you should just, maybe this isn't for you anymore. You know, maybe you're broken. Right. And no, they were always supportive and they never once doubted that I like would, would come back. You right. know, they always thought I would and they were, you know, they were always there. You know, it, I think for me, uh, the whole thing with Death Threat Army, just not even the fact that it's a faction within wrestling, there's a story there like like the click, you know, like the original yeah. click and NWO. There's a story there that there's a brotherhood. There's these guys that watch out for each other. I think that I that's something we're going to see in the WWE Network later on. You know, the story, yeah. the story behind DTA and, yeah, and the, the faction leader, Aaron O'Ryan. You know, I, yeah. I really think that we're going to see that because that, I like this, man. That's a really cool thing that you guys got going here. They're very supportive right. of each other. I think that's awesome. Yeah, man. You know, it's like the first time I met Aaron, we clicked it right off the bat. Like I was... And, you know, I, I was a student in a class that didn't have a lot of talent. There was only probably, like, another kid or so. I couldn't work with a lot. And then when he came and he saw that, he saw the potential in me, and he took me under his wing. He really is my big bro for that. And he broke – he's the one that really broke me in, you know, to the business and everything like that. Yeah. You know, he, he took me out of state to get my first booking in Ohio. And then we went to New York together, and we really bonded. We really hit it off. And so, right. you know, I mean, I can't, I can't thank him enough, right. really. You know, so, you know, talking about taking, getting your first first booking outside of Michigan, how hard is it for the guys coming into the business, business, you know, say, you know, you're from Michigan and you want to get a booking outside of that. How hard is it for you to go outside of Michigan to get a booking? Um, I see, uh, I personally didn't have an issue with it. Um, 
you know, of course, I have more of like an exotic look to me, you know. Right. Uh, people do want to see that on their show, so I do get opportunities in that aspect maybe a little bit easier. But I also have a good attitude. Another thing about that threat is that, like, you know, I do think that we have a good attitude in the back. Um, we get along with everybody, and we just, like, we're healthy. We create a healthy environment in shows, and people see that. So not only are we talented, but we're also good guys, genuine good guys that just love this business. Right. And people see that. And I think uh, that's why none of us really had an issue to go to Canada, to go to Ohio, to go to uh, West Virginia and Kansas. You know, we just stayed, me and Aaron uh, and uh, Josh will be, uh, Tommy Vendetta will be, uh, you know, debuting in uh, Kansas. Uh, that's cool. You know, all that stuff. So it's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. Um, so let me ask you, I ask a question, you know, to most of my guests and I want to ask you because you know you're obviously you you got a very good um uh, work ethic and it's obvious you know with you know because I see the videos of your workouts and all that stuff that you do so you're very you're you work out way more than I do I tell you that right now but anyway <laughs> uh anyways um what's some advice you would give somebody you know just coming into the business you know looking for a school what's like you know maybe they just started training and they're doing their program you know what's some advice that you'd give to them and then on a, on after that what's some great advice that you've received um as far as like wrestling advice or just yes like yeah wrestling advice, advice or, yeah well um of course like uh as far as like if you want to get noticed you know, you have to stick out. And that was always my thing is that, you know, we are evolving and things are more lenient, but at the end of the day, this is a cosmetic business. So right. uh, you want to be in shape and you want to exercise, you want to look good. We're athletes at the end of the day. You want to train like an athlete, you want to eat like an athlete. I'm a firm believer that's part of the job too, you know? And there are exceptions to that. There are super talented people that don't need to do that. But like, if you're trying to stick out, branch out, look the part, man, you know, right. eat right, train hard do all that it's not gonna take, hurt. take um, it as seriously as you want it yeah um probably the best advice that uh i got um really uh um you know be humble but also you know there was one dude he was like be humble but have you know don't be arrogant but have a little bit know what you're worth so people don't take advantage of you Right. You know what I mean? And so I try to carry myself, like, even if I'm nobody, because I am, you know, in the stage, I am really not much. Right. But you should carry yourself in a certain, because, like, you know, uh, like, you, the people in WWE and the people in XICW, we are doing the same job. We are all professional wrestlers. So carry yourself that way. You right. know, and that was one thing, is I like, carry yourself like you're a superstar. Right. That's awesome. Well, you know, again, I want to say thanks so much for joining us. Uh, I know that you're uh, going to be on a few shows coming up here soon. Uh, yeah. you, let that, you want to let everybody know your social media so they can get you uh, liked on there and uh, you yeah. know, where they might be able to purchase some of your merchandise? Yeah, absolutely. So my Instagram is uh, Karam, K-A-R-A-M underscore 920. My Facebook is Karam 920, no underscore. And, uh, uh, my Twitter is underscore Karam96. All right, awesome. And I, what I'll do is I'll put that down in the description in the video, guys, so that you can check that out and head over there yeah. and give him a, a like and all that. Yeah, and one more thing. Uh, at BCWA, April 20th, uh, Tommy and Vendetta and I are uh, tagging against um, uh, Malcolm and uh, Malcolm Monroe the third MM3. Oh, and, oh so uh, you're going Gatman. against you're going against both the Malcolms? Yeah. Oh, no, boy. No, Malcolm on uh, MM3 and uh, Blake Acumen. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. This should be interesting. I won't be able to make that show because uh, I'll be at Legends. But it's going to be a banger. I know. I know. I'll have to watch the replay. But yeah. definitely awesome. You know, and you guys, I can't wait to see that match. Awesome yeah, stuff. Yeah, it'll, it'll be my first uh, match with uh, Malcolm and uh, MM3. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I got a lot to learn from that guy. So shout out to him. <laughs> Awesome. All right, buddy. Well, thanks so much for coming on, and we'll uh, definitely have to have you on again, and hopefully we'll see you there on May 4th in Port Huron. Yeah, man, absolutely. All right, man. Check you later. Thanks so much. Yep, we are the Death Threat Army. Vehicle City villain Aaron O'Ryan. Black Diamond Jack Price. The Wild Child Jody Threat. And weaponized Alex Weir. And you're watching Wrestling Rage live on Friday nights at 8 o'clock on YouTube.